Variety plus system plus wearing books plus female favorite male contrast cute female boss when Chin times Jingue and naughty young master Chi Mo having fallen into the trap of being beaten back and forth by true and false heirs in a group favorite text, when Wan Qing had no sense of canon fodder and captured everyone's hearts with her unconventional art style. At the beginning, the black fan said, let's make a move. Let's see how Wen Qing killed him. Later black fans. Watching this boyfriend pull hard, carrying a hoe all morning, driving a tractor all over the field, not saying much, when Qing tore green tea in white lotus with his bare hands. Fake. They're all fake. They're all scripts. But the more I look at the system, the more I feel that something is not quite right, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. What's going on? Apart from those male guests, even the real and fake heirs almost ran into a big wall for her hosting frame. Hot searches are one after another, and one day the videos circulating directly paralyzed the entire network. Chi Mo, the young master of Kyoto's noble and venomous tongue, was unexpectedly suppressed and kissed by Wen Qing. The flower of Jailing, which has always been cold and precious, now has an extremely humble posture. Ching Ching you like me a little more. Black fans exclaimed. I hit it. Keywords of the novel. Actress in the art of acting and seducing villains on variety shows, becoming popular without a pop.up window. Actress in the art of acting and seducing villains on variety shows, becoming popular. Download the full text. Actress in the art of acting and seducing villains on variety shows, becoming popular. Read the latest chapter. Chapter 1. Gunpowder Holding Big Boss Script. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1. Gunpowder Holding Big Boss Script. The real canon fodder in the group favorite text during script loading, welcome to the world of ENV games. In the scene loading, facing the slander of others and accusing you of pushing the truth down the stairs, what is your choice? A. Refusing to admit and facing criticism from everyone, b. Admit generously and establish a reputation for malice, after a moment of dizziness in Wen Qing's head, he heard the small system he had just bound throw at him a choice. Ba Tong. What's the situation? Wen Qing felt like she was really standing under the confused tree. Please make a choice within one minute. If you don't choose, you will be criticized by everyone and accidentally stumble. Later, you will be criticized by netizens and your reputation will be ruined. Wen Qing. Hua it's quite ruthless. I choose. A. A real big shot never gives up. Scene loading, Wen Qing. I didn't expect you to be so malicious. You actually pushed Shuri down. Even if you can't stand her, you can't push her. A cry of surprise followed by a soft and delicate voice, clamoring in my ear to question. There were also some sounds following closely. Wen Qing is so disgusting. She's so vicious and mischievous, I really don't know why she came here. Wen Qing. If anything happens to Shuri, Yi, I will definitely make you pay the price. I thought you were just being spoiled, but I didn't expect you to have such a malicious heart. The voices gathered together and made Wen Qing's brain ache. She raised her hand and rubbed her eyebrows wearily, as if feeling someone's gaze. Suddenly, she opened her eyes, and in an instant, pure and dust-free ripples flowed around, rendering her eyes bright. With no waves or waves in his eyes, he looked straight at the person who had just shouted the most fiercely, with a cold and icy chill and a noble and lazy wisdom. Tell me, why is there just a bunch of people cursing on the street? Wen Qing's voice was soft and sticky, with a hint of early morning drunkenness, dragging the tail tone, which was particularly provocative. Her fair and flawless skin exudes a healthy pink hue, and her beautiful lips are as delicate as cherry blossom petals. But Wen Qing's words just now silenced the whole audience. Everyone. Blaming the street. Do you curse on the street are they condemning Wen Qing, in Wen Qing's view, cursing the streets? A hint of surprise flashed in the eyes of the fake daughter next to Wen Qing, 
and her hand unconsciously grasped the railing beside her. What is the situation? Even though I was at a loss just now and couldn't defend myself, why did I just blink of an eye did you handle everyone? Shirley pursed her lips and pondered for a few seconds, seemingly speaking from Wen Qing's perspective, Qing Qing, now let's avoid the limelight and acknowledge it. After all, Sister Shuri asked you to push her hard. Upon hearing this, Wen Qing glanced at the unconscious girl on the ground, her delicate eyelashes still trembling slightly. The ground was covered in blood stains, her tightly bitten lips, and her pale face all revealed the despicability of the culprit. Oh, really? But it wasn't me who pushed it. System. Great, completely denied. This host is on the way. Upon hearing this, Shirley's fingernails gripping the railing were almost broken, but her face was as delicate and boneless as a small camellia flower. Ching Ching, how could you refuse to admit it in front of so many people? They just want to apologize. What's wrong with you? Wen Qing's eyebrows and eyes were clear, and his eyelashes were shrouded in steam. He remained silent about what Li had just said, leaving only the coldness in his bones. I took out my hand that was inserted into my pocket and pushed it hard towards Shirley, who had just made me confess. Go down, you. Under Shirley's incredulous expression, she was pushed down. Shirley. Everyone. Shit. Everyone exclaimed in surprise. Look down. Shirley's twisted and ugly expression made everyone's hearts tremble. Why is Shirley's expression so strange? It's so ugly, wouldn't the plastic surgery have failed, right? Wen Qing is crazy. He pushed Shi and Shirley. Is this to destroy the two sisters of Shirjia? Wen Qing ignored everyone's words. Shirley didn't expect Wen Qing to push herself in front of so many people, and her lips curled up, showing a mocking smile towards Wen Qing. Slowly supporting the nearby handle, he stood up and showed his swollen and red ankles to everyone. Wen Qing, it's okay. I forgive you. Who makes us good friends? As soon as this sentence is spoken. I'm going. My ankles are swollen into Mantu. Wen Qing is really cruel. It's definitely the idea of destroying the two sisters of the family. I didn't expect that Wen Qing would be so vicious. Rare. How could Shirley still forgive Wen Qing after such a long time? Wen Qing listened to Shirley's tea flavored words and everyone's whispers, and smiled. The smile did not reach her eyes and her gaze was shattered into fragments. The cold and distant feeling lightly infected everyone's hearts. You're not blind, are you? That's what I pushed, said Zhu Lip slightly, if you're not blind, take a good look. By comparison, the wound I just pushed is like that lying on the ground, which is different from the wound I pushed. Don't falsely accuse good people. Surely, don't argue with me, otherwise. Wen Qing's bright eyes gradually darkened, curling her lips and smiling like a crescent moon. She looked down at Shirley from a high position, as if slowly descending the stairs. Shirley supported the handle and followed Wen Qing's pace, feeling increasingly tense and unconsciously taking a step back. Wen Qing calmly caught a glimpse of Shirley's movements, as if he had seen some funny dirty thing. He slowly curled up his crimson lips, as stunning as a poppy, blooming wild beauty. Don't be afraid, I'll give you another chance. Otherwise, next time I'll figure out how to make you look like you meant to. Don't worry, I can learn. You need to have a spirit of learning. And you also need to learn it as soon as possible. Everyone. Stun JPG no. Yes, completely dementia JPG when Qin disappeared from everyone's sight, facing their different gazes. A crowd of onlookers discussing and leaving behind. What's the situation? Wen Qing is so arrogant. I understand what I just said. What Wen Qing meant was, Shuri wasn't pushed by her, she can't push it so seriously. Right, right, that's what I mean. It makes sense. This staircase is much shorter than a normal staircase, with five or six steps. 
It shouldn't be pushed like that. It seems that it wasn't Wen Qing who did it. What? Are you still explaining for Wen Qing? It wasn't her pushing, what if she used other methods? Just her doing it, who knows what would happen. As soon as these words were spoken, I don't know if everyone believed them. The host completes the selection and avoids risks, with a survival value of plus 5 and a current survival value of 10. There are still 3 hours left until death. Kind words for 3 winters, the system sends warmth, wishing the host a happy ending. Wen Qing. He he. Can you live for 3 hours with this one? Drip now distributing newbie rewards, the original owner's memory is loading, after a while, when Qing finally understood that he was just cannon fodder. This is a world of second-tier female games, a group favorite text, or a double female lead. True and false daughters are all female leads, while the original lead is a vicious cannon fodder. That's right, not even a supporting actress. The original owner, also known as Wen Qing, is the young lady of the Wen family. Although the family has a mind to inherit, they have to step into the entertainment industry for the sake of the male lead. Of course, there is more than one male lead in the second female script, and the one related to the original lead is the male lead Lu Yiming. Because Lu Yiming couldn't bear to see the original owner constantly entangled with him, and even cause trouble with the real and fake heirs, he directly sent someone to kidnap the original owner. I threw a burlap bag into the alley and beat it up. After beating it up, I still nauseously said that it was a little flower who liked purity and not affectation, rather than a vicious and mischievous one. Recalling this, Lu Yiming has already been brought closer to the blacklist by Wen Qing. Hitting women. Also PUA. The original owner just liked him and became impatient with the pursuit, so he hit the original owner. After saying that the original owner had done nothing to the true and false heirs, he just retorted a few words. Male lead, is that all you have? Garbage brat. And surprisingly, the original owner was also one-minded. He was beaten and even defended Lu Yiming. He resolutely entered the circle and broke away from his family, becoming a master who everyone in the 18th tier called for. There's no way, Wen Qing, the pampered little princess. She never knew there were any hidden rules in the circle, so she impulsively beat up the person who had hidden rules. There are also various coquettish postures, which are constantly being criticized and trending. Various entries. Hashtag on the 100 forms of Wen Qing's fantastic death hashtag hashtag arrogant. Zhuo Jing Wen Qing brutally assaulted the third male lead on the same crew, threatening that she was not even worthy of lifting her shoes hashtag hashtag explosive. The malicious woman is playing big cards again, kneeling down and begging for the date of Wen Qing's withdrawal from the circle hashtag hashtag what brand of garbage is it that Wen Qing, a talented woman, fiercely criticizes her on a variety show hashtag it's someone who has more followers than fans. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. The Female Boss Struggles to Survive. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2. The Female Boss Struggles to Survive Okay, I understand. It's just the beginning of hell. Be refined. Isn't this giving her room to shine? Please don't have any dangerous thoughts, host. The original owner hoped the host could help him counterattack, but he has already been sent to another world to spend his old age peacefully. You will have to stay in this world in the future, and the host's lifespan is still three hours. Host needs to choose the option to complete the script for the e-female variety show, wishing the host a lifetime of rest. The system needs to remind the host that if the host dies in this world, they will die permanently. Wen Qing. So as soon as time comes, I die and have no chance anymore. Wen Qing felt that this was really a domineering clause. And the choice you gave me, if I make the wrong choice. The host has three chances to save. Remember, if you make a mistake at a critical moment, you can save before making your choice and silently save in your heart. Wen Qing just breathed a sigh of relief. However, as soon as Wen Qing looked up, he met a pair of ink eyes. 
The young man exuded a deep and indifferent aura, his obsidian-like eyes exuded a chilling and captivating radiance. His pale face carried a hint of arrogance and surliness, and his deep voice carried a hint of exploration. Wen Qing. His expression was lazy, with a hint of mockery rising from the corners of his mouth, and a distant indifference between his eyebrows and eyes. Ding trigger the plot. Qi Mo's eyes were filled with exploration and ridicule towards you. He didn't understand why the previously brainless woman suddenly had a brain. But you also hate him. Because he targets your yiming brother with a venomous tongue and a black belly on weekdays. His words just now clearly cast doubt on you. So what was your choice? A. Slap him, causing him to hold a grudge. B. Stare fiercely at him. Let him know the difficulty and retreat. When Qin thinks this Tongzi is really causing trouble. The young man in front of him is Qi Mo, who is also a character from the script of Yi Nu and a cannon fodder, but he is completely different from himself. They are the cannon fodder of the villain, with power, money, and brains. And I am completely brainless. TSK, just like cannon fodder, when Qin felt a bit sorry for Qi Mo in his heart. In the original plot, he hated the real daughter a few times, and those male leads hated him so much that they decided to go crazy and retaliate against Chi Mo. Isn't this pure illness? Please make a choice immediately, otherwise the system will force a selection. When Qing pondered for a few seconds before taking a step forward, his chin slightly raised, his cold eyes half castrated, and he looked bored at Chi Mo, trying to see through what he wanted to see through the person in front of him. On weekdays, Wen Qin relied on this gaze to subdue the people under his hands honestly. But Qi Mo's eyes hesitated slightly. Between his four eyes, Qi Mo saw Wen Qin's moist water eyes. The girl's mischievous and rebellious princess seemed so arrogant and unbearable. The young girl's eyes seemed to be filled with a galaxy of stars, incredibly rich and stunning. Her eyes moved with her eyes, and a myriad of charm emerged. This made Chi Mo unsure of how to react. Why does she look at herself like this? Is she trying to say something to herself? Chi Mo stood in place, waiting for Wen Qin to speak. But Wen Qin looked at Chi Mo's stunned expression, thinking that he had completely intimidated him, and his satisfied expression wandered around. Take a look, she was such a big shot before. However, Wen Qin forgot, whose big shot is cutting Princess Loli. Moreover, when Qing's round little deer eyes, even if they were truly glaring, actually had little deterrent power. The black tea-colored princess cut her head and raised a tuft of silly hair, her beautiful eyes staring at people as if she was angry. Do you think Qi Mo didn't even take you seriously? So you decided to humiliate him, a eh, pointing at him and cursing. You're just a little trash. B. When you're out of sync with him, make a face at him. Wen Qing. Tongzi, I remember you said you wanted me to rely on the reputation of a big shot to launch a comeback. Is that what your big shot is like? Host, make a choice when Qing moved away from his sour eyes and was about to extend his hand, pointing at Qi Mo and cursing angrily. But who knows Qi Mo turned his head and saw Lu Yiming coming to question. Wen Qing poked his finger directly into Lu Yiming's face. You little trash. A real big shot never mind who he curses at. Treat everyone equally and curse together. Lu Yiming. Wenching. Are you crazy? Ding host avoids risks. Get a survival reward of plus 4, current survival value of 14, remaining 5 hours of health. Wenching, when you just scolded me, Li didn't scold enough. How could you still scold me? You were really used to it before. Lu Yiming didn't feel any problem with his attitude towards Wen Qing, even his current spittle was about to spray on Wen Qing's face. That pair of eyes that were almost ready to breathe fire were so ugly. Ding the plot is loading. Lu Yiming, who came to find a place for Shirley and Shi, didn't expect to be scolded by you. As the male lead, he has a high heart and can't tolerate your little licking dog following him so recklessly on weekdays. 
So he decided to turn around and scold you what is your choice regarding this, A. Silently endure, hide behind Qi Mo. B. Just walk away. When Qin glanced and saw Lu Yiming poking his finger in the face. Why is it so I dot catching? Raise both hands. Lu Yiming thought that when Qin was about to hold his hand, and a hint of imperceptible pride flashed across his face. Unexpectedly, when Qin came straight in the opposite direction. Click, ah. A roar directly made when Qin's ears ache. Qi Mo, he's so noisy, turning around, he hid behind Qi Mo and grabbed Qi Mo's black shirt that looked ironed. Because when Qin, relying on his own intuition, deliberately grasped the risk avoidance that had just emerged in the system, so why not choose A instead? The young man's sturdy waist looked so tight, with a height of 185, he placed Wen Qing in an absolute position behind him. The dark shirt made him exceptionally clear, his profile was handsome and clear, and his cold eyebrows and eyes looked unattractive. He looked directly at Lu Yiming, exuding a cold sense of alienation. However, Qi Mo still reached out and stroked away Wen Qing's touch. He doesn't like others getting close, nor does he like their touch. But Wen Qing was not angry at all, but his eyes lit up instantly. Wen Qing has found her power bank. Ding survival plus 0.1, it's not the points for completing tasks, but the points for just touching Qi Mo. After just a few seconds of touching, it added survival points. Miso, Wen Qing attempted to poke Qi Mo's back with his own finger again. Ding survival plus 0.1, although the survival value is increased very little, as long as there is physical contact with Qi Mo, there will be survival value. Isn't this her life renewal power bank? Wen Qing feels that heaven will never die for her. Qi Mo's move of protecting Wen Qing behind him made Lu Yiming feel a bit sour in his heart. An indescribable swelling filled his chest, blocking his discomfort. Why? How dare the two people who I usually look down on in my daily life face me so arrogantly. And one of them used to be his own licking dog. Wen Qing. Apologize to me. After apologizing to me, I can still let you continue to be by my side. Lu Yiming flicked the broken hair on his forehead and grabbed the styling he had done when he woke up early in the morning. The whole body exudes a domineering aura. Woman, come and fall in love with me. Ding activate the plot. Lu Yiming felt that his little licking dog must have been blinded by Qi Mo, a shameless man, so he decided to use his charm to win his little licking dog's heart again. For this, he stood in front of you, reached out his hand, and invited you to be his licking dog again. What is your choice regarding this, A, re-immerse yourself in the embrace of Lu Yiming, and complain arrogantly. Brother Yiming, don't get entangled with Shi Yi and Shi Li in the future. B, grab Qi Mo's sleeve and shout a bit surly. Humph, Qi Mo, why haven't you thrown this person out yet? Wen Qing. Is there some serious illness in her system? Do you call this a big shot persona? Can this really make a comeback? Although Wen Qing kept complaining, she honestly chose the second item. The girl tirelessly grabbed the boy's sleeve, and Qi Mo turned his head to scold him, but the smile on the corner of the girl's lips was beautiful and gentle, with a pair of beautiful eyes shining brightly. Her fair and delicate appearance was like a blooming flower in the blooming season. Her eyes trusted her posture completely, but she instinctively rejected Lu Yiming not far away Qi Mo, who inexplicably felt in a good mood, also allowed the girl to grab her sleeve Ding survival plus 3, current survival point 17.2, remaining 17 hours of health, Lu Yiming's eyes were fixed on the girl grabbing Qi Mo's sleeve, as if there was a burning anger in his eyes. What does this mean? Face-to-face -face provocation. The usually surly and arrogant princess has become more pleasing to the eye today, but her furry head is tightly hidden behind Qi Mo. The light blue suspender dress complements her even more fair and delicate, with a kind of shaky softness. It's not as disgusting as standing in front of him and mocking Qi Mo in the past. This inexplicable gap in behavior makes Lu Yiming feel that his self-esteem has been provoked. 
End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Show Your Face. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Show Your Face, What's Wrong? Wenching, do you actually have this kind of taste now? Lu Yiming continued to provoke with reluctance. And Wen Qing felt speechless. Why can such a mentally disabled person be the male lead in the second female game? Ding please make a quick choice for the host. The game setting is for the male protagonist to be proud and noble, and to be exclusive to himself. The male protagonist, Lu Yiming, has no abnormalities. Hmph, Chi Mo, why haven't you thrown him out yet? What has he been saying? What should Chi Mo do if he wants to hit me? Her delicate lips parted slightly, with a hint of a lingering tail tone, exuding a sweet and refreshing taste. Wen Qing acted perfectly, without giving any eye to Lu Yiming who was clamoring over there. He kept holding on to Qi Mo's wrist and didn't let go. It's strange that Wen Qin could let go of such a chance to seize his health. Ding 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 ding, the system is constantly reporting survival values. Wen Qin's lips couldn't stop rising, and Qi Mo looked at those smiling eyes with indifference. The young master, who is so innocent, doesn't even know how to handle this matter. Especially the hot palms of the young girl constantly convey warmth to herself. Through their shirts, the two of them pressed against each other's skin, and the scorching temperature burned him like a fire. Ripples appeared in their originally cold eyes. Chi Mo's lips tightened, his sharp gaze chilling. His eyebrows condensed with a hint of coldness, and he impatiently glanced at Lu Yiming, who was still standing in place. If you don't go find your Shi and stand here questioning others, will your Shi sister cry and faint in the restroom if she finds out? The voice was indifferent, deep, and elegant, like a way of speaking in a gentle manner, but the strong sense of oppression made people unable to underestimate it. After being exposed, Lu Yiming felt embarrassed and let out a cold snort from his nose before tossing his sleeve and leaving. As he was about to leave, the gloomy warning gaze looked coldly at Wen Qin behind Qi Mo. Qi Mo frowned and instinctively turned to the side. Turning her head, she saw Wen Qin with her head hanging down, her soft and furry hair hanging down. Seems to have a somewhat gloomy expression. Qi Mo didn't know what he was thinking, and his heart was slightly angry, and his tone was also a bit cold. You can catch up now. Then, he mercilessly brushed Wen Qing's hand off his wrist and walked away with a dignified pace. The young girl's pale expression was like telling her reluctance to part with Lu Yiming, making Qi Mo feel that the girl really didn't know what to do. It was like using herself up and throwing it away. The soft feelings towards Wen Qing had completely disappeared from his heart, ding task evaluation, the host did not avoid the risk just now, so the reward will not be issued. Is the current host's survival value all replaced with health value? Wen Qing. Fate. Hesitation for a second is disrespectful to oneself. Change. Ding the current host's health is 17 hours. Congratulations to the host for surviving today, kind words for three winters, the system delivers warmth, after exchanging health points, Wen Qing frowned and had some doubts about what the system had just said. Why does the system judge that one cannot avoid risks even though they are following the options? Wen Qing didn't understand for the time being and could only wander aimlessly outside. Now the production team is dealing with matters related to Shuri and Shirley, and there is currently no one to manage Wen Qing, so Wen Qing has a rare leisure time. As you walk outside, you can see rows of houses arranged in a neat and orderly manner. The blue brick and earth tile bungalows, paired with lush rice fields, are a bit refreshing. The main storyline of this e-female game is that true and false heirs fight cannon fodder in this variety show called, Reclamation, gaining a large number of fans, and then paving the way for riding the wind and waves in the circle. Countryside slow variety show. Mainly focused on land reclamation. Yes, let the guests come to farm. It's so simple and unadorned. For genuine and fake heirs, this is a vacation destination. 
because they have three male leads taking turns helping them with their work. And when it comes to oneself, it's about focusing on self.reliance. The original owner, who grew up to be a spoiled child, never did anything like this. Her skin was tender and she pulled out a blade of grass, and it pierced every minute. So it's just adding insult to injury to the reputation of being a master, that is to say, even a passing dog would be disliked. As soon as Wen Qin stepped into the camera, the black fans began. Black powder. TSK tisk TSK who is this? Isn't this the Miss Sui Jing? How can you still have face? You're almost bullying Sure Yi to death. Aren't these wicked women getting away yet? Why wait to kill Sure Yi and seize Lu Yiming? Alas, Wen Qin is just so thoughtful. Don't all talk about it. You should scold him directly. If you don't understand, why are half of the people cursing this sister? Are the remaining half of them speechless? TSK TSK TSK, this sister is really not afraid. She deserves to be someone with a thicker skin than the city wall. She can't even hold the sickle and is still waiting on the show. She can't bear to part with anyone, don't I need to say more? What are they afraid of if they can't hold the sickle? They keep posting on a certain blog every day, and I haven't seen this sister blush before. This sister insists on not facing anyone. Black fans are manipulating inside the barrage. When Qin crouched on the ground playing with mud. Black fans are cursing fiercely. When Qin crouched on the ground playing with mud. Black fans greet Wen Qing's family. Wen Qing held a small stick in his hand, Hua Hua Mud. Finally the system can't continue to read. Ding black fans didn't expect that a malicious woman like Wen Qing, after teasing Shi Yi and Shirley one after another, would still have such a calm face. Even crouching on the ground playing with mud. It's like insulting their intelligence. They wish they could kick Wen Qing standing by the small river. Faced with the excitement of black fans, please make a choice for the host. A. The main idea is to be a companion. Paste mud on the camera. Let the fans play with you. B. The main contrast is to tell the fans that you are not the real you just now, and to have a fierce woman cry, causing the fans to drop their chin. Wen Qing. The system focuses on a whole job, right? Always bring surprise to oneself is it necessary to lose this face. After the countdown ends, if the host has not selected, the system will take over the host selection AAA when Qing lowered her head and pondered over the small stick in her hand. When I was feeling bored, I picked up a small stick on the ground and sat under a tree to cool off. How could it be like playing with mud? Is that mud something that a big shot like her should play with? Since black fans want to play so much. So, then under the camera, the sunlight poured down, and the mottled image of the tree was shattered light, scattered on Wen Qing's body. His eyebrows furrowed lightly, as if he had encountered some difficult puzzle, making his soft and cute face appear a bit cold. His lips were as tender as cherry blossom petals, and he was muttering something in his mouth just as the black fans were immersed in the illusion that Wen Qing seemed to have become more beautiful, that fair-looking, soft little hand, with lightning speed, steals its ears and steals bells. Grab a handful of mud from the ground. Bang! It was thrown directly onto the camera recording Wen Qing. Black fans are stunned. No, yes, they have dementia. Complete survival challenge, reward three health points, accumulate three health points, kind words for three winters, the system delivers warmth, Wen Qing thinks there is a health reward, this task is very valuable. A faint smile rippled from the corner of her mouth, clear and enchanting, soothing her brows and eyes. However the black fans in the live broadcast room are frying the pan. Black powder. Big courage. Throw mud in my face. I'll lie down and accuse you of 80,000 yuan. Crazy, this woman is crazy. Woo woo, really like everyone else is like her like playing with mud. There. Drag it down. Drag it down for me. 
If you commit any crimes below the level of precision, please quickly fork it down for me. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Throwing Mud on Black Pink Face You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Throwing Mud on Black Pink Face Black Powder Woo woo, this woman's behavior is outrageous. The mud just splattered on the camera, as well as on my face. Ah ah ah. Pull it out. Pull Wen Ching out. Big courage. Black fans broke through on the spot. How could a variety show guest directly paste mud onto the camera? In the eyes of black fans, this sister is definitely crazy. However when Qin muttered directly to herself in front of the camera, her soft and clear voice like a spring after rain, giving a comfortable feeling. Mainly for a companion, ha ha ha, black fans, you will definitely thank me. Black fans. Passerby. Ah, ah. A main companion. Ha woman. You want me to play mud with you as a keyboard hero for a whole year. Ha woman, what's wrong? Want to catch the attention of fans? I'm sorry, you managed to do it. I'm rubbing my hands on fire now, and I can't wait anymore. I can curse hundreds of words in a minute. This sister is not only acting but also foolish. What's going on? What's wrong with our sister's intelligence? My nephew in kindergarten doesn't even play with mud anymore, and this sister still wants to have a companion. What? Do you want me to play with you? Isn't this sister a romantic brain? How could it be? Let's just say, she's really stupid. Where's the staff? Hurry up and wipe the camera for me. I want to continue to be seen as a demon, don't delay my work too much. The staff were clearly a bit stunned. The cameraman who followed Wen Qing quickly took out toilet paper from his pocket and carefully wiped the lens. After wiping the lens spotlessly, the camera was moved back onto Wen Qing. At this point, Wen Qing had already completed the selection task of the system and squatted by the flowing small river, washing his hands. The green and jade-like knuckles, white to sparkling in the light, on the shimmering river surface, the young girl is peaceful and contented. Her calm expression dilutes the usual arrogance, giving people a sense of tranquility in time. A sudden sound from behind abruptly disrupted the scene. A man walked quickly behind Wen Qing and without saying a word, pulled up Wen Qing's plump wrist, which made him frown in pain. You wicked woman! How could you still be so pleased after hurting Shuri? I left for half a day, and then you kicked me into the hospital. I see you really don't take me seriously at all. The man's slender and sharp black eyes did not conceal his disgust towards Wen Qing. He had thin and tight lips, was dressed in a haute couture suit, his hair was specially designed, and his face was still slightly sweaty. He may have just arrived from that venue. Wen Qing squinted her eyes and stared at the person, instantly matching the person with the memories in her mind. Qin Yao, one of the male leads in the second female drama, is different from Lu Yiming's portrayal of the boss. This person is a new design star in the circle, and the popular brand pursued by the stars in the circle is created and founded by this person. The mentor of a design competition that Shi Yi participated in before was this person, who deeply witnessed Shi Yi's indomitable, white lotus, characteristics. Since then, he has been selected by the male host. Wen Qin was about to fight back, and even pouted the man's hand. Ding Qin Yao, who hurried back from the venue to question, looked at Wen Qin, whom he believed to be the culprit, so contented. The thought of Shi Yi still lying in the hospital for examination made Qin Yao feel a surge of anger in his heart. He's furious. He's roaring in his heart. He's completely insane. He extended his sinful hand and caught what he believed to be the culprit. He wanted to question her, he wanted to teach Wen Qing a lesson, your reaction to this is. A. Take out your previous style and curse at the man. B. Give a man a surprise and make him dumbfounded. 
Wen Qing listened to her little boss talk about these two choices, with a hint of playfulness in her eyes. Big shots don't like to talk. And she has great qualities. I choose B, Wen Qing first glanced at Qin Yao's expression, which was somewhat uncontrollable due to his anger, and slowly raised his hand. Grasping Qin Yao's hand and slowly lifting it up, Wen Qing's beautiful features outlined a peaceful smile, as enchanting as night and as warm as breaking ice and sun, adding an indescribable purity of desire. Wen Qing looked into Qin Yao's black eyes, which were cold and lively with a seductive and soul-devouring expression. Qin Yao's confusion in his eyes further widened when Qin smile. Bang, a sound, accompanied by a muffled groan suppressed in the throat, suddenly rang out. Wen Qin. The sound of gritting his teeth, wishing to devour the smiling Wen Qin alive. Wen Qin moved her wrist and greeted the camera. Ignoring Qin Yao lying on the ground, he turned to the camera and said. Black fans. Look, when it comes to dealing with hooligans, you have to unexpectedly throw them over your shoulders. After speaking, he left without any hesitation and Qin Yao closed his eyes as if he had nothing to love. Qin Yao's heart had just begun to show a hint of pity for the young girl. Perhaps it was because the young girl didn't curse at him like usual, or maybe her smile was too bright. In Qin Yao's confusion, the girl raised herself and tightly grasped her wrist. Qin Yao's heart skipped a beat for some reason, and he hurriedly released his hand. However, what Qin Yao did not expect was that the girl pressed her shoulder with one hand and grabbed her arm with the other, causing a severe over-shoulder fall at that moment, Qin Yao felt like his pity for the young girl was like a slap in his face, ding task completed, task points plus five, current health points eight. Qin Yao lay on the ground for a while to slow down, then slowly got up from the ground and patted himself clean. However, when he saw the machine still running over there, his body stiffened and his expression became very ugly. But it only took a second to adjust. I'm fine. I'll go to the hospital to see Shuri later, so I'll say goodbye to everyone first. After speaking, the guide who was on the side signaled to turn off the live broadcast. Qin Yao did not want his embarrassment to be exposed to the camera. If it weren't for the presence of a camera, Qin Yao would definitely have vented his frustration. His appearance today was carefully selected by him, and he was about to take Wen Qin to the hospital to apologize, especially to defeat Lu Yiming. But they were all destroyed by Wen Qin. You must not be able to find Shuri Yi in such a miserable situation now. Biting his teeth, he supported his waist and went to the cottage camp. Just now, Wen Qin was also heading in this direction. All seven guests are staying at the campsite, but single rooms are quite generous. The director understood Qin Yao's meaning and promptly turned off the live broadcast, but the footage had already been broadcasted. The barrage has exploded. End of this chapter. Where is the ointment in chapter 5? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Where is the ointment in Chapter 5? Black Powder. Shit. Wen Qing is really crazy. She deserves to be a woman with a gold owner. Hurry up and let her go. Damn it. Where did Wen Qing come from, a toad? Even threw Qing Yao over the shoulder. Has this woman become so arrogant? Doesn't it cost to do something wrong? If you get your wrist clenched, you'll fall. This genius, go to hell. Rogue. Do you deserve to say that about Qin Yao? Do you think Qin Yao would take a liking to you like that? Wen Qing, please give up. Qin Yao is on time. I advise you not to get involved, not everyone can be a mistress. Disgusting, what are you pretending to be? Do you know how to use words? Wen Qing should go back to the furnace and remake it, don't come from Huahua. Almost an overwhelming amount of insults. Because in their eyes, Wen Qing, a dead pig, is not afraid of boiling water and even shamelessly beats people. In the eyes of these black fans, she is the original sin. Even if Qin Yao comes first to provoke. Even Qin Yao's strength made Wen Qing's wrist bruise. However, 
Some passers-by couldn't bear to watch and spoke a few words for Wen Qin. Why do you all think it was pushed by Wen Qin? They all said it wasn't, right? And Qin Yao just grabbed Wen Qin's wrist from behind, isn't that really a hooligan? Isn't a good dot looking hooligan a hooligan? That's to say. The other person Wen Qin didn't speak ill of each other, just for legitimate defense, right? They all bruised their wrists, it hurts a lot, right? But these comments did not cause too much waves, instead they were bombarded even more thoroughly. Ridiculous. A bunch of nonsense. What kind of thug? I think you and Wen Qin are like a nest of snakes and mice, right? What good thing is being able to empathize with a working spirit? It's not her, who else could it be? Could it be that Shuri deliberately fell to falsely accuse Wen Qin? Did your group of people get kicked in the head by the donkey? Yo 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 are you sending someone to wash it now? Black fans still have strong combat power, and passers-by were directly sprayed with barrage and comments. Relying on her own memory, Wen Qin returned to the room, frowning and looking unhappy. Isn't that right? It's strange to be in a good mood after being bitten by Qin Yao and Lu Yiming, these two crazy dogs of the time. I searched around the room but couldn't find the medicine box. Think about going to the kitchen to get an egg and apply it. Suddenly remembered someone. Qi Mo. Wen Qing turned a corner in an instant and knocked on Qi Mo's door. This is my own power bank. Inside, Qi Mo's legs overlapped in front of the French window, the cuffs of his black shirt were pulled up, and his wrists were slightly protruding. The layers of sunshine sprinkled down, and the young man's eyes seemed to be washed away by dew, clear and transparent. The virtual shadow beneath the crow's eyelashes seemed as if it were fine and spotless, and his gaze fell on the phone in his hand. Dong 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 dong, a slow knocking sounded at the door. Chi Mo flipped his fingers up and down, averted his gaze, and fell back on the door, appearing cold and dignified. Obviously, he didn't expect someone to knock on the door. Chi Mo's clear and transparent eyes were as bright as the morning star, and his lips tightened slightly. The warmth between his eyebrows and eyes disappeared in an instant, restoring his cold and indifferent demeanor. He couldn't figure out who was looking for him. After pondering for a few seconds, I put my phone on the table and got up to open the door. Opening the door, a small face with a bright smile caught my eye. When Qing gently flicked her hair, which was already delicate and soft, not to mention that there was still a smile on her lips at this moment. Her bright eyebrows and eyes were adorned with delicate light, dazzling in the warm and tender light. Chi Mo unconsciously grasped the door handle he was holding onto. Chi Mo, who had no idea what to say to the girl, could only stiffen his face and slowly recite from his mouth, Is there anything wrong? The voice is steady and clear, indifferent and cold. The demeanor of a gentleman is dignified, but it carries a sense of alienation. His expression is indifferent and leisurely, and the feeling of coolness is even stronger. But in fact, those deep black eyes were still rippling with an imperceptible tension. When Qin didn't care about Qi Mo's coldness, just raised his bruised wrist that Qin Yao had grabbed and raised it towards Qi Mo. Do you have any ointment? Qi Mo's gaze fell on Wen Qin's bruise. There is a slight purple tint in the blue color, which is so dazzling on the white porcelain like jade skin, and even finger marks can be seen on it. It is obvious that these are marks left by someone forcefully pulling. Chi Mo pursed his lips slightly. I didn't originally want to take care of this matter, but I still can't bear it in my heart. After all, that bruise looks quite serious, and I happen to have ointment. I didn't want to get too involved with Wen Qing, and before, I had a lot of unpleasantness with Wen Qing because of the incident with Lu Yiming. But for the first time today, Wen Qing didn't go to find Lu Yiming to find him. On weekdays, the young man who used to face Wen Qing with indifference and venomous tongue was actually very soft-hearted. Almost just struggling for a moment, slowly speaking, yes. Wen Qing was almost visibly happy. My eyes seemed to be shattered with starlight, 
charming and charming. My eyes were bright, and my lips involuntarily curved. Ding Chi Mo was a bit surprised by the girl's attitude towards him. He had never seen a girl who looked at him directly before, and one day he would also speak to him in that delicate and soft voice. Chi Mo's doubts grew stronger in his heart. He thought of the girls teasing before, and a deep thought flashed in his eyes. He locked the girl out of the door with determination. What is your choice regarding Chi Mo's indifference, A, eh? continue to knock on the door relentlessly until Chi Mo impatiently opens the door and throws the ointment to you. B, leave, curse and leave with malicious words from everyday life. C, hold Chi Mo's hand that closes the door and conquer him with your domineering hand. D, kick at the door. Take out the momentum of your boss and kick this door to pieces. Make him submit to your force. Wen Qing. Her son is really six. Count down to three seconds. Three, two, one. The host did not select, the system started to force selection, Wen Qing. In the next second, Wen Qing looked at me incredulously, her delicate jade hand placed directly between the door and the frame that was about to close, her slightly raised face showing just the right amount of weakness. The bright bruise on his wrist made Chi Mo unable to concentrate on closing the door. Helplessly, Chi Mo released the hand of the sliding door. His overall temperament became a bit chilly, and he was about to question impatiently. See you, Pa Pa, when Chi quickly dodged and casually closed the door. Keep pushing. Chi Mo's backhand was pressed against the door by Wen Qing. When Qing's height couldn't even reach Qi Mo's ear, he could only struggle to stand on tiptoe. The result was that almost everyone was stuck on Qi Mo's body. She tiptoed slightly and pressed her fingertips against his ear, exhaling orchids. Her warm fingertips pressed against Qi Mo's lips, caressing them incessantly when Qing's breath came close to Qi Mo's ear, and the seductive voice called out Qi Mo's name, carrying a hint of teasing, which reached Qi Mo's ears. Wen Qing could still see shock in Chi Mo's extremely clear and beautiful eyes. It can really be said as a pupil earthquake. Chi Mo frowned, blushed, and closed his eyes, pushing and shoving Wen Qing with his hands. Wen Qing leaned his head towards Chi Mo, and before Chi Mo could question him, he whispered softly in Chi Mo's ear. Where is the ointment, man? Chi Mo. Bang! Chi Mo's ears turned even more red with just a brush, almost unable to react at all. Opening his eyes slightly, his voice was hoarse, and his eyes were slightly tipsy. I pointed in a direction in a daze. That direction is exactly where the ointment is located. When Qin released the hand that wrapped around Chi Mo's waist and went to the cabinet over there to get the medicine box. And Chi Mo touched his extremely hot ear, and his Adam's apple rolled up and down for a moment. Chi Mo, who had not had much contact with girls, held a pair of moist eyes and covered his hot face with both hands, staying in place. And when Qing, who took over her body again, couldn't help but support her forehead. What are these things? Who actually chose C? Just now so teasing, even to the point of being a man, where is the ointment? As soon as that sentence was spoken, even when Qing couldn't help but feel ashamed. The sudden approach of the young girl caught Qi Mo off guard. The warm fingertips and the just exhaled orchids made Qi Mo, who was pure and innocent, abandon himself and close his eyes. His neck trembled with a curled breath, and Qi Mo's brain went blank. He forgot to face the young girl with a cold face, ding task completed, successfully avoiding risks, Task point plus 5, task point plus 3 current task point 16 successfully accumulated 24 points. Do you want to exchange all for health? Yes. The current accumulated life is 24 hours. Good words bring warmth in winter, and the system sends warmth, babies, if you like it, add a collection if you have any ideas, feel free to comment. But, babies, don't attack yourself, be friendly hee hee, hee hee. Hee <laughs> hee, end of this chapter. Chapter 6 He seems to make her angry. 
You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6 He seems to make her angry feeling that his face was no longer hot, Chi Mo released his hands that covered his face. The Adam's apple rolled up and down, slowly leaving the door against which he was leaning. His gaze fell on Wen Qin, who was treating the wound there, with a growing sense of exploration in his eyes. The watery eyes just now were filled with moisture, and Chi Mo lowered his head, feeling a little frustrated. Unconsciously, my hand attached its bright red ear tips, and I paced and sat on the sofa far away from Wen Qin. That posture is very obvious, almost treating Wen Qin as a fierce beast. Wen Qin applied ointment to her wrist, tidied up the medicine box, and accidentally glanced aside. Just as Qi Mo's phone screen was about to go out, Wen Qin saw his own blog headline. Eyebrow frivolous, eyes with interest. And Qi Mo kept observing Wen Qin, noticing that Wen Qin's gaze fell on his phone screen for a long time. Think of the entry I just saw. With his hands on his knees, he wanted to get up immediately and pick up his phone. Ku Wenqing turned around directly, his gaze fixed on Qi Mo. Just now, you were actually looking at me, her voice is clear and melodious, with a soft morning vibe and a hint of wanton cunning. Chi Mo replied with a calm smile, both aloof and polite, I just stumbled on your hot search for nothing, and it's not just about looking at you. Chi Mo kept his relationship very clean, and the blushing and heartbeat he had just been stirred up by Wen Qing seemed like a dream-like illusion. Chi Mo is still the flower of the noble and cold mountains, shining with light, wind, and moon. Wen Qing didn't say anything, just put a label on Chi Mo in his heart. A pure young master who speaks falsely and has a particularly soft heart. If he hadn't seen the hot search, how could Chi Mo have softened his heart? Perhaps it's like before, being invisible and keeping oneself a thousand miles away. Ding accumulated broadcast survival value plus 5 points, current survival value is 5 points. Wen Qing. Isn't Tongzi right? Didn't you just say that you exchanged health points for a day? The survival points just now have been exchanged for health points. The accumulated health points are one day, and the remaining 5 survival points can be exchanged for other things. Wen Qing suddenly understood that it should be about Tongzi and the system all, but now he can't even have more health points, so the system hasn't told him. Wen Qing was tugging at the system in her mind, her gaze gradually drifting away. A faint doubt flashed between Qi Mo's eyebrows and eyes. In his pupils, there was a calm night like darkness, and under the soft and tender light, it was as clear as water, with a hint of coolness rushing towards him. Don't you believe it? He propped his hands behind him, his thin lips lightly parted, and his voice was faint, clear and mellow, with some casual ups and downs. Ding triggering the plot, Chi Mo didn't expect to patiently explain to someone, but in exchange for the girl's swaying spirit. Thinking about the girl's teasing just now, Chi Mo was clearly angry because of the girl's playfulness in the world and also because of his recent loss of composure. In Chi Mo's eyes, a young girl sees herself as someone who can be easily teased, and the atmosphere around her carries a chill, regarding Chi Mo's prejudice against you, you choose to. A. It doesn't matter, throw away the ointment, flick your hair, and then leave, B. Push back and ridicule Chi Mo's gaff just now, host, please hurry up and choose, as soon as the system's options were set, the sound of a countdown came to Wen Qing's mind and the fear of being manipulated by the system was still vivid in his mind. Select A, it is impossible for Wen Qin to mock. Both of these options are quite effective in generating hatred, and relatively speaking, the first option generates less hatred. If it had been before, Wen Qin would have thought that A and B were different. As a true big shot, it's not too good to hate such things. Cool. Chi Mo is now his own power bank, the power bank of life. You offended the power bank. Isn't this not far from death? So, don't hesitate, just go ahead. Wen Qing paced lightly and took a few steps towards Chi Mo before standing still three steps away from him. The distance is neither far nor close, 
which will not make Chi Mo disgusted or guarded. The girl in a light blue camisole dress has a delicate and soft figure, with silk-like hair hanging on her chest. The swaying light blue skirt blooms in the pouring light, and the soft hair is as delicate as the girl's expression. Those smiling apricot eyes, shrouded in water and mist, are clean and light. Chi Mo's spine tightened, his eyebrows furrowed slightly, and his gaze fell on Wen Qing's smiling eyes. It's this expression again why are you smiling at yourself so much again the coldness in Chi Mo's originally silent and cold eyes was about to gradually shatter. Pa Pa, a perfect parabola is coming towards me. Before Chi Mo could react, his body instinctively reached out to take it. Take it steadily in your hand. Glancing down, it was the ointment that Wen Qing had just applied. A hint of doubt surged into my heart, and my gaze returned to the delicate and delicate face of Wen Qing. Her eyebrows and eyes were as hazy as night, her daime was frivolous, and her fair wrist revealed a terrifying bruise. She gently brushed her soft hair, remained silent, and turned to leave. Bang, the tightly slammed door pulled Chi Mo's thoughts back. My heart was in a mess, and I couldn't help but clench the ointment in my hand, as if it still carried the warmth in the girl's palm. Is she angry? Ding task evaluation, the girl walked towards her, as if stepping on a drum in Chi Mo's heart. Inexplicably, she remembered the scorching breath that had just wrapped around and stirred her, unconsciously causing her spine to tense. Until the girl impatiently threw the ointment into her arms, and the sudden fall of the door made Chi Mo's heart skip a beat. He seemed to make her angry. Chi Mo's mind has always been haunted by the series of attitudes of the young girl he just had, and Chi Mo, who has never been in love with a girl before, can only ponder over and over again, Ding successfully avoided risks, survival value plus 5, current survival value 10 points, kind words for 3 warm winters, the system sends warmth, wishing the host a happy ending, Wen Qing, who had successfully obtained survival points, frowned lightly and prepared to turn around to return to her room. But did not want to see the streamer carrying the machine walking towards her. That posture directly blocked Wen Qing in the corridor. Wen Qing. Just it's quite sudden. What is this? The soft and tender voice reached the ears of the guide, and it also reached the camera. The guide quickly set up the machine and wiped away the sweat he had just sweated from running fiercely. Teacher 1, this is the task card for the program team. The guide handed over a task card directly. Warm extended his hand and played the card back and forth in his own hand. I wasn't in a hurry to open it. My fair, tender, and boneless hands were made even more fair and delicate by this black task card. But he casually said, the guests are not all here, are you still recording? The guide gritted his teeth, there's no other way. Every day is a burning budget, and the director is urging to record today's live broadcast. This is just, teacher one, isn't there still you here? The director wore a false smile on his face. Wen Qing smiled as if she had heard something funny, blinked her bright and beautiful eyes, and lifted her vermilion lips lightly. Me. Being a master, what's there to record? End of this chapter. Chapter 7. Old Drivers Online. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 7. Old Drivers Online Wen Qing did not conceal the light mockery of her own label in her words, with a clear tone and no emotions. Such an outspoken expression, I don't know which muscle of the black fan has been pierced black powder. Oh hey, does this person still know what he's talking about in black powder's mouth? TSK TSK TSK, iron ones. We have been quite effective in our black work, we need to continue working hard. Look, the main leader has affirmed our evaluation of her. Rush. Follow me. Let me see who doesn't rush. Damn it, I feel like my old nose is getting tired now. If you don't charge, if I don't charge, when will Zhu Jing make a name for herself? Now that this sister is not on the entire black fan slaughter list, we need to work hard. Are you poisonous? You are black fans. 
why did you start slaughtering the list of black fans? Don't be at the top, calm down. Ha ha ha, this sister is a bit self-aware. Suddenly, she thinks that Princess Loli Fong is a bit pleasing to the eye. Black Powder Fourth Grandpa Princess Cute Delicate, how old are you this year? Wen Qing Report to the Master I want to accuse the black fans of being a troublemaker. Ba. Report the black fans of being a troublemaker. Ba. Report the black fans of being a troublemaker. Wen Qing. I heard you said I'm not worthy of being cut by a princess. I'm 20 this year, although I'm not 18, why aren't I worthy of being delicate? Black fans started their daily routine, one after another. Fortunately, Wen Qing couldn't see it. If he could see it, the brain melon seeds would be convex. However, Wen Qing's small system was overjoyed to watch. Later, it wasn't until Wen Qing's little boss laughed even crazier in his mind that he realized his boss could still see the barrage of black fans. Wen Qing's self-deprecating words made the anchor unable to continue and could only urge him to open the task card. Teacher Wen, hurry up and do the task. Wen Qing was no longer deadlocked with the anchor and stopped playing with the task card in his hand. Open the task card and casually glance at the words on it. The originally calm and serene cold eyes were stained with a hint of fragmentation, and the thick eyelashes trembled faintly, with a somewhat complex expression. Are you serious? The tone was a bit long, as if it had been stained by the smoke and rain outside the window, and the willows were curling up with a hint of trembling disbelief. Black powder. What did you write? What did you write? Speak up. You should speak up. Who's in such a hurry? Don't treat us fans like outsiders. Bold. Where is the fourth master of the black fan class here? Who doesn't show me the task card? Oh so it's Xiaozhua Jingwen Qing. Ha ha ha, I'm laughing to death. The first time I've seen Wen Qing so restless. The show has started, the small stool is in place, the melon-eating black powder keyboard is ready, Wen Xiaozhua Jing, please give it your all. The black powder is in place, the keyboard is set up, don't worry, you must be blacklisted and hot searched now. Under Wen Qing's somewhat shattered calmness, the anchor nodded calmly and said, seriously. Hurry up and complete the task. Wen Qing closed her eyes in deep pain. How could the directing team be more effective than their own small system? Ding detected host dissatisfaction with the system, deducted 5 survival points, current survival value is 5 points, remaining 23 hours and 38 minutes of life. Wishing the host a happy ending, after listening, Wen Qing almost spewed out a mouthful of old blood. What is an exploitative capitalist? This is a broken system poo, this is a good system. Wen Qing obediently gave the task card a glance to the camera. Even the black fans couldn't help but burst out laughing as it was written above. High expectations from the directing team. Which tractor technology company is strong? The program director is looking for Wen Daqiang Wen Qing, no, Qiangzi. Look at it. It's the season for sowing now, the land needs to be turned over. Qiangzi. I'll leave this arduous task to you. Take a look at those male guests who can use it, and ask them to help you. That's all for the words on the task card. But the smile will not stop, it will only shift. Black powder. Ha, 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 ha. Laugh and get rich. God his mother when Dutch young. Qiangzi. I hope brother can't mistake you. Help, what did the director think? Let a skilled writer drive a tractor. Laughing makes a fortune, really. The program team is 2-6, just going for 6 alone will give you 6 more, I'm afraid you'll be proud. Where is there a good show to watch? I'll just take a rocket to perform a good show. Damn it. I'll just ignite it. Is the production team crazy? Let someone who can't even hold a sickle drive a tractor. What's driving a tractor for? Did it blow up the entire scene? 
Chuda 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 when Xiaozhua is driving the tractor with precision, unable to laugh anymore, still looking for male guest's help. Which male guest's tractor can plow the land? Isn't this difficult for my brother? Please let Xiaozhua Jing complete it alone. That's to say, my older brother is extremely expensive, and he can't drive a tractor. Please ask the production team to go to Hua Hua Wenching alone and give up on Hua Hua's idea of my older brother. The passers-by and fans of the show, as well as fans of other guests, became lively. There are many people waiting to watch the good play. And the production team has taken advantage of Wen Qing's demonic nature and is preparing to rely on him to create a few flaws, which will also increase the popularity. As for Wen Qing's black manuscript flying all over the sky. Who cares about that? Stepping on Wen Qing's black material and rising to the top, this is not the first time the program team has played it. Ding detected the plot, mockery from fans, and parody from the director's team, putting you directly on a high platform where you can't get up or down. You understand in your heart that today's tractor must be driven. As for the program team's suggestion of seeking help from male guests, what is your choice? Seek the help of Lu Yiming, show weakness to him, and let him help you stand out. B. Self-reliance, isn't it just a tractor plowing the land? Work hard and make a comeback. C. A real big shot never intervenes in unexpected environments. Just go up and do it. Kick the show crew and curse for half an hour. Please make a timely choice for the host when Qing knew that the system was not holding any good news. This option is to become a demon one by one. Upon careful consideration, the first person to find that scumbag named Lu Yiming was to listen to his insults, right? The second option, although she is almost omnipotent, driving a tractor is not within the scope of this omnipotence. The third option, not to mention kicking the program team today, will send a withdrawal statement tomorrow. Select Countdown. BB, I chose B, did you hear me although when Qin still had a calm expression on his face, his heart was in a state of panic. That means. Can't she dig a ditch with this tractor? There is really such a possibility. Does this land mean it must be plowed? Wen Qing lowered her head and glanced at her tender white fingers. It didn't seem like she could drive a tractor, did she? My heart was always filled with a sense of restlessness. This production team is not a worry-free one, they want to use themselves as stepping stones. Ha then you also need to have the ability to step on it. Don't fall off, that's good. Wen Qing's eyebrows and eyes were a bit cold, and her slender eyelashes covered the coldness in her eyes. Her beautiful face carried a hint of casual frivolity, and the raised eyebrows and lips seemed to be smiling, emitting a hint of coldness instead. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Is about tractors Ha who do you look down on? You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 8 is about tractors Ha who do you look down on? Wen Qing followed the guidance of the program team and arrived at the vacant land. The land full of weed still exudes a hint of desolation, and the air is filled with the unpleasant smell of green grass. The knee-high weeds are enough to show that the land has not been taken care of for a long time. The boundless wasteland is a huge project. The rusty-looking tractor was already waiting there. It's an old dot fashioned four dot will drive tractor, with enough traction, but that's only limited to the new ones. Wen Qing frowned when she saw the rusty wheels. There is a plow tool with a shape similar to a rake at the back, which should be used for plowing. But surprisingly, the plow tool has a few small holes on it that are rare. Although they are not eye-dot catching, at first glance they are not well maintained and have been eroded by rainwater, making them look unsightly and not sturdy. Wen Qing felt that his head was really protruding now. The broken wheel of the tractor, she'll kick it suddenly, won't it fall off? Is it possible to drive a car like this? Even if you know how to do it, you have to dig a ditch inside, let alone cover up the weeds in this wasteland. Sometimes there are water channels between the fields, and if you're not careful, the wheels of the tractor may get stuck inside. Let's switch to another one. 
when Ching half lifted his eyelids and discussed with the guide behind him. The tone of the voice was dull, and the stunning and beautiful face was calm. The apricot eyes, sparkling with water, were crystal clear and unbelievable. Black powder. Starting, this sister is starting to become a demon. Iron children, charge me. Xiangzi. This doesn't work. Before you try it out, just say you want to change it. Do you think this is your home? Do you want to change the tractor as soon as you want? Don't make a fuss. Wen Qin knew that you could not be at peace for three minutes. Look, this little mouth is beginning to babble again. Come on. Look, Qiangzi is starting to mess up again. When Xia Zujing is once again again. The irons are here to live. Today's hot search for black materials, I will make precise reservations for small works, the black fans were delighted to see it, and had never had much hope for Wen Qin. Seize the opportunity and start spraying. But what Wen Qin said below made the black fans start to fight. Why does teacher Wen need to replace this tractor? The anchor is obviously unwilling to exchange for Wen Qin. He was already watching him stir up as a demon. Why spend so much time looking for people in the village to rent a car for Wen Qin? Not worth it. It's not necessary either. The indifference of the guide caught Wen Qing's attention. She didn't say much, but there was a hint of coldness between her eyebrows and eyes. Her pupils were particularly dark, and the fingertips inserted in her pockets lightly twisted, revealing a cold silence from the inside. Snow's skin seemed even colder and thinner under the sunlight. She actually doesn't like to explain. She lifted her foot and walked to the tractor that she didn't know was recycled from the scrapyard. Suddenly, a curve curved her lips and a smile didn't reach her eyes. Still holding his hand in his pocket, he extended his foot and kicked onto the rusty wheel, feeling inexplicably lazy and good dot looking. One kick. One kick. Take another step. Black powder. This sister is crazy. She's venting her anger with a tractor. Fork away, let me fork away. Don't let her hua hua tractor. Get the hell out of me. Wenching, hurry up and get rid of me, and throw tantrums in public. It's really you. If you don't exchange it, just kick it hard. With the support of the gold lord, it's different. Hurry up and let Wenqing get out of here. Who saw her act wildly? It dirted my eyes. Black fans scolded even more harshly, because in their eyes, Wen Qin was being unreasonable and would kick the tractor without changing it. Can the next second, everyone was dumbfounded. Wen Qin clattered down three times. The wheels of the tractor are directly detached from their original position. Gollum, Gollum continuously spinning and rolling away. Black powder. Hua. Did the wheel kick off? Passerby. Damn it. Bully. Damn it. However, the culture is not enough, just hold a small six for Wen Qing. Kicking the wheels of a tractor with three feet, this girl is amazing. Shit. I don't know what to say, I took over the front row. Salute. Respect. Please take my knee. So when Qin wants to change the tractor because the quality of the tractor is not good. Upstairs, I support you. When Qin specifically thought that this tractor could scatter while driving it, ha ha ha, I'm laughing to death. I already have a picture in my mind. I'm flying on the wheels and falling into a ditch. You are really bamboo shoots. Wen Qin. I really appreciate it. So, can we change it now? I kicked the wheels of this car three times and you dare to drive it. Wen Qin took his hand out of his pocket and made an innocent stand in front of the production team. The tone was like discussing how the weather was today, with a calm and gentle breeze. I don't think it's a big deal to kick off the wheels of the tractor with three feet in fact, it's not entirely due to Wen Qin's fault. The main reason is that this car is already on the brink of being scrapped. The wheel that Wen Qin just kicked on looked different from the other three, 
with a protruding piece, and even the axle on the wheel was probably broken. It looks like the wheel is hanging weakly on the axle. So you got kicked away with three kicks. In addition, I don't know if it's due to the system, but when Qing's own strength value has been increased. Three legs and one wheel, it's not a big deal. The entire production team was in a state of dementia, and the director froze in place, unsure of what to say. The tractor has already come apart, the production team thinks it's just a matter. Let Wen Qing escape this disaster and prepare to urgently modify the task card. Well, teacher Wen doesn't need to do this task anymore. The guide pondered over the conversation, and the scene of the car wheels being kicked off just now still vividly remembered, afraid that those words might not be sharp enough and be knocked down by Wen Qing's kick. Upon hearing this, Wen Qing frowned slightly and rubbed his forehead wearily. What I need to do is drive this tractor today, he said system. Woo woo, the host is too advanced. Love to death. Wen Qing. Don't love, don't ask, asking is for survival value, for survival. But. That means. This tractor doesn't need to be found in a scrap factory. The curve of her mouth was perfect, and her hopeful eyes slightly raised their tails. The coldness in her bones just now was neutralized by the delicate smile, becoming clear and beautiful. In the soft and tender voice, there is a hint of demon, a hint of allure, and an undeniable mockery. Black powder. This wave of mockery gave me full marks. The impressive production team went from a scrapped factory to find a tractor to drive for guests. If they say it out, I'll be ashamed. Shame. Hurry up. The wheels of the car have all flown away, how can people drive it? Hurry up. I want to watch Xiaozhua carefully drive the tractor. What's going on with the production team? It's also you who said they let go, and it's also you who can't say it now. If you can do it, isn't this a prank? I won't say anything else about this wave, but I support Wen Qing. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 The whole field roars and flies. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 The whole field roars and flies black powder. I have dozens of counts. Hurry up and get the tractor ready for us. Otherwise, I'll just start spraying. Rush. Rush. Wenching, this is my first time supporting you, just to watch the excitement. Ahem, not to mention anything else, driving a tractor all over the field is so windy. Upstairs, are you a go.cart like a tractor? Running all over the field, you can do it. Brothers, this is Wenching's first serious task. Woo woo, there is an inexplicable emotion. I must be something wrong. Damn it. How many dishes did you make when Qin drink from the program team? Did you get drunk? I must have been drinking so hard. Woo woo, I'm just spreading the truth. They just want to see you drive a tractor. Yes, yes, they just want to see you drive a tractor. Can you show them? Can you show it to others? Can you show it to others? Plus one. Plus 99, finally, the program team borrowed a new channel from the villagers and asked Wen Qing to open it. Wen Qing took out her phone from her pocket while the director's team was arranging a tractor for her. Fingers are pulling on the interface. The screen is flipping up and down. With a solemn and serious expression in his eyes, his small face as big as a palm was mostly covered by the hair hanging on his chest leaving only the delicate and dripping vermilion lips and the low eyebrow contemplative expression, as if there was a serene and cold evening rain, swaying out strands of fragrance. Slightly drunk and intoxicating. Wow this phone looks so beautiful. Just look at this nose, this eye dot catching phone looks pretty good, right? Look at this princess cut, I'm satisfied with it. If I don't understand, I'll ask, where can I buy the child's phone that the princess cut? I'll buy it and use it myself. Upstairs. Don't let your bitter tea fly around with me. If you don't understand, just ask. Have you been blinded by your beauty? Wen Qing. 
Do you really appreciate it? Praising your phone or cursing. Ha 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 hiccup, this sister is definitely searching for information. Looking for Dun Yang, right? Look. These guys are starting to talk nonsense, unlike me who only cares about my sister. Has she learned? Hurry up and show me how to drive a tractor. When Qing tossed and turned on the bed in the middle of the night, unable to figure it out. Helplessly, he leaned against the bedside in the middle of the night and saw a few words written crookedly on his desk. He picked it up and looked at it a few times, almost turning black in both eyes. Black powder. Don't be too reckless. Ha ha ha, it's amazing. It's really amazing. Although there are many black fans who play with memes, both inside and outside the words, they express reservations about Wen Qing's ability to drive a tractor after searching for information. Of course, Wen Qing didn't know either. Wen Qing's little system did know, and he was almost laughing and twitching in his mind. Upon hearing this, Wen Qing only thought that the system had started to go crazy again. She quickly browsed through the various operation methods mentioned above, as well as various techniques and solutions to common problems. As a person who fluctuated in the commercial world before, Wen Qing felt that operating a tractor was not more difficult than predicting stock trends, right? When the production team placed the tractor in front of Wen Qing, Wen Qing put away his phone and put it in his pocket. He walked towards the tractor and pulled open the car door. Sit steadily in the driver's cab and fasten your seatbelt. Although there is still one day left for my little life, but Wen Qing still cherishes his life. Step 1. Shift to neutral, pull the clutch, and open the fuel door. Hand crank the pole and prepare to start. The tractor did not move at all. Wen Qing. Black fan. I said this girl can't drive. Wen Qing. Oh, the key hasn't been turned on. It's too tight, don't panic. Black fan. You just pretend. Wen Qing then turned off the key, held on to the pole and started, pushing forward and shifting to a lower gear. Press and hold the power output shaft clutch control handle, wait until the diesel engine burns, and slowly release the clutch with the left hand. Protuberance process, protuberance process, the tractor has started driving. Wen Qing pressed a button and gently lifted and lowered the plow behind him. The tractor walked slowly and steadily forward, but at least it started driving. Black powder. No, this sister really knows. Help, is this person a devil? I must show my third grade coach. This person is much more impressive than him. He can learn how to tractor in 15 minutes. Ask if you don't understand, is it difficult? I think I can learn it in one minute, I don't believe it. Ask me where I learned it. Tut tut tut, the big stage of the internet, you can come with your mouth. Some people always think it's easy. Do you think it's easy? Try running in the clutch of the tractor. You have to run in the clutch of a car for half a day, but what about the tractor? Hey, hey, come back quickly. Why are we all starting to turn black? We are black fans. Don't say what you just said, I just assumed I was blind and didn't hear you. You're blind and can't hear, I'm blind and can hear. Stubborn, stumbling curse me. Wenching. I'll have to ask you to give me my hair, stumbling and disappearing sooner or later. Ha ha ha, if you don't understand, just ask, are you black fans? On the same day, Wen Qing's Black Powder Very Awesome recorded this live broadcast, and sent the clips to a blog and an audio platform. On that day, Hashtag surprised. Xiaozhua Jing angrily kicked three times and the tractor wheel fell off. Hashtag hashtag is it a moral decay or a distortion of human nature? Why can't I learn a tractor in 15 minutes? Hashtag hashtag 2222 When Qing drove the tractor and your hair was 2222222 hashtag hashtag hurry up and show it to Coach Kusan. Wen Qing will learn the 18 martial arts skills of a tractor in 15 minutes hashtag hashtag coach can't boast anymore. Look at Wen Qing, 
angrily driving the tractor with bare hands hashtag these entry tabs directly rank high on the hot search list, and comments under a certain blog are even more outrageous than live barrage in variety shows. Understood, let's go find Wen Qing now. Originally, my hair loss was caused by Wen Qing giving me a bump. Where is the live broadcast, where is the link, and where is the variety show? See her woman. You successfully caught my attention, I'll give you one minute to drive the tractor to see city and pull me up. Is this your means, woman? Haha <laughs> it's still so attractive, who knows. It's so charming to be able to drive a tractor, don't you know? Cough, 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 cough. These are passers by fans. Some stubborn fans still curse loudly. Starting to buy whitewashing articles now. Do you also believe in posing for photos? What we're saying is, don't be swayed by the rhythm, okay? Don't you know what Xiaozhua Jing looks like? You're just bragging here. Do you want to show some face? What's the use of driving a tractor and boasting about it? Should we not work or not? My brother's licking dog is also worth your praise. A bit of a brain, okay. It's obvious that Wen Qin is posing for filming to create a topic. Do you know if there's a script for the variety show? End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Finding Fault. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Finding Fault Wen Qing directly activated the racing mode with just one click, running the whole field with a gust of wind, and the tractor was already in full bloom. A wagging tail. The right rear wheel of the tractor kicked up a burst of dust, giving off a carefree feeling of playing in the fields. Wen Qing drove the tractor as a sports car directly. Buzzing, with a sudden acceleration, the plow behind pushed out the most stubborn blade of grass, exposing its roots. Those weeds collapsed in Wen Qing's hands, and there were not many grass that could stand firm anymore. Wen Qing. Invincible, it's just so lonely. Her beautiful face carried a gentle and affectionate smile, and she gazed at the fields in front of her with great interest. Her long black hair was shining in the midday sun, appearing shiny and smooth, revealing small and round earlobes that were soft and obedient. However, this delicate person had a huge smile on her face. Adding an indescribable contrast, it is a tight hook that attracts people. Ding the delicate softness of the young girl and the wildness of the tractor are completely opposite, with a heart-shaking charm that deeply attracts everyone, even the black fans who have been criticizing Wen Qing for many years have to admit that young girls are extremely beautiful, task completed, successfully accumulated a throw of lost passers-by fans, survival plus 10, current survival 15 points. Good advice for three winters, the system delivers warmth, the host continues to work hard. Tomzi, you have a conscience. You actually gave me 10 survival points this time. Upon hearing the survival value given by the system, when Qing's mouth almost grinned at the back of her head. Harm didn't this deduct five survival points from you before? Wen Qing. It's outrageous. I knew the system was buckled and swished. Don't mention it's okay, just mention it and get angry. Wen Qing just grinned at the back of her head and then came back. The main feature is being able to control the corners of one's mouth. Wen Qing got his survival value and felt it was almost there, so he stopped the tractor. Looking at the rotten weeds on the ground, Wen Qing didn't care about the follow dot up. A person has already plowed two acres of land, which is enough. The task card of the program team only says to let Wen Qing plow the land, and there is nothing else to say. Wen Qing will not rush to do it. After all, she is now a delicate and gentle young lady. As soon as I got off the tractor, I received a unanimous attention ceremony. 
Wen Qing. Ha! Huh. At a glance, he saw Qi Mo casting his gaze towards him. The power bank is here. Ah ha ha ha. As for who is next to Qi Mo? Who cares? Wen Qing only had her own power bank in her eyes. Wen Qing smoothed out her slightly wrinkled camisole dress. Her delicate features, since she wasn't always arrogant and surly, would exude a natural charm. If Wen Qing had no expression on her face on weekdays, there would be a hint of coldness in her bones, but now seeing her own power bank, it would be great if Wen Qing didn't smile at the back of her head. Her skin became even fairer against the backdrop of the light blue camisole dress, and the small steps beneath her feet exuded a sense of joy. Standing beside Qi Mo, Xiao Qiaoran also saw this beautiful and unrealistic picture. Unconsciously, he walked forward and stopped Wen Qing as he approached Qi Mo. Wen Qing, do you still know how to drive a tractor, you little trash? Xiao Qiao burned his lips and smiled lightly, with his hands folded behind his neck, lazily surveying Wen Qing in front of him. Just blurred out a mocking remark. With a hint of lightness and the usual playfulness. Upon hearing Xiao Qiaoran's mockery, Wen Qing's eyes were straight and displeased with Xiao Qiaoran in front of him. The fleeting coldness of the eyebrows and eyes, the upturned corners of the mouth gradually flattened, and the vermilion lips pursed slightly. Thinking about this person in my mind. Xiao Qiaoran, a cynical young master, entered the entertainment industry with a playful nature and starred in a small online drama invested by his own company, which became famous overnight. Can be considered a top-tier student now unlike Qi Mo's popularity, Qi Mo is the top player in all dot round development, while Xiao Qiaoran has developed in the field of actors. So it can be considered as the opposite of competing with Qi Mo, while Xiao Qiaoran is different from Lu Yiming and Qin Yao. In the original plot, he gradually became interested in time and meaning in variety shows. On weekdays, Xiao Qiaoran actually dislikes Wen Qing's dog-licking behavior, so he often satirizes the original owner. The relationship with the original owner is not good either. After the memory was over, Wen Qing thought that since the relationship was not good, he would just blame him directly. Suddenly, the system may fail, Ding detected the plot, Xiao Qiaoran was called by the production team to work with Qi Mo on a mission, feeling restless and tired. However, when Wen Qing got off the tractor, Xiao Qiaoran showed some interest. On weekdays, I don't even like to use sickles as a tool, but I actually start driving a tractor, how fresh this is. And Wen Qing's affectionate and warm smile, as if it could make people feel better, Xiao Qiaoran unconsciously walked forward, mocking him as usual. What is your choice for this, eh, draw him two big pussy bags. Show him what it means to be a spirit. B. Give him a kick and let him taste it. How strong is the foot that can kick the tractor wheels away? C. Find Qi Mo and persuade him to help scold Xiao Qiaoran, D. Just go up and curse, no matter how you curse, come back. Wen Qing remained silent for a rare moment. Halfway through the C option, he was extremely determined to choose C. No one can stop her from running towards her power bank can you persuade Qi Mo to curse. Wen Qing glanced at Qi Mo's noble and indifferent, cold and beautiful flower of the high mountains. Can he curse people? That's enough, isn't it? Forget it, if you want to make a comeback and become a big shot, if you can do it yourself, it's better not to bother others. D. Tongzi, I choose D, you little trash. I can handle tractors, can't you? Little trash. A bright and charming little face approached Xiao Qiaoran, and even his starry eyes caught Xiao Qiaoran's eye. Her vermilion lips were bare without makeup, delicate and dripping. The subtle fragrance on Wen Qing's body intertwined with her breath, giving her a different feeling. Xiao Qiaoran didn't even pay attention to the insults in Wen Qing's words, but rather explored why he gave himself a completely different illusion despite being the same person. And standing on the side, Qi Mo silently took everything into his eyes. Xiao Qiaoran's body completely blocked Wen Qing, and Qi Mo's angle could only see Wen Qing's furry head, 
which was so close to Xiao Qiaoran. It seems like Xiao Qiaoran could fully embrace Wen Qin with his hands open. Qi Mo unconsciously twisted his fingers, his long eyebrows frivolous, and his deep affection indifferent, but upon closer inspection, he seemed to be tinged with a hint of hostility. My gaze became somewhat sharp at some point, as if there was substance falling on the two of them. The coldness on my body gradually rose with a hint of mockery in his mouth, he brushed his sleeve and whispered softly. It's boring. The voice was a bit cold and hard, like a layer of mist, and the emotions in the words were not very clear to listen to. After speaking, he turned around and paced, ready to leave. Babies, like to add favorites thank you, babybow.jpg, end of this chapter.